are you, Sam? Very good. How are you? Como estas? Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> Sam Russell, he's a, what is your official title? Head of marketing for uh, uh, Buick yeah, North America, Yeah, marketing right? director for, for United States. United States, okay. Uh, but uh, we're here at the Milford Proving Grounds and we're testing except pretty much the whole lineup, right? For, for Buick. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, but the new uh, the, the main story here today is the Regal SS, uh, GS. Uh, GS, I'm sorry. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The uh, it's it's the latest entry to the complete Regal lineup. Um, that starts with the Sportback, which was revealed previously. Then the Tour X, which is our Station ultimate versatility wagon. functionality. Like, yeah. It's a, it's a great alternative to a full size SUV type vehicle. And and now the GS, which is our exciting performance-oriented version. So. Excellent. So we're gonna go for a little uh, test drive here. And he, we have one of the engineers back here who's gonna yeah. help us. <laughs> How are you? So any special instructions for us here? No. Nope. Uh, head over to the right, and then just follow the cones uh, 50 miles an hour as you go through uh, the track. Here we go. So um, Sam, um, as I heard in the presentation, I mean obviously Buick is a very global. A brand, I mean, like huge success in China, mm -hmm. any other, all, all the other markets, but also the all the people working at the, at the top of the brand here. It's very diverse, right? You have people from uh, different countries, right? Oh yeah, it's a very diverse team. We have um, we have English, we have Australians, we have myself. I'm actually Brazilian. Yeah, and and just a, a great group of people working on a great brand with enormous amount of uh, market momentum right now, growing record all-time sales last year. And number one in uh, sales service and customer sales satisfaction, right? So um, it's uh, it's in a well, great yeah. it's it's doing great, right? With with the JD Power Awards and just with a great lineup, right? Um, when we finish the launch of the vehicles we're launching this year, which will end with the Enclave, you will have a portfolio that has been entirely renewed over the last two years. Our oldest car is the convertible. The which Cascada, is, which, the is Cascada the, yeah. which is brand new. Yeah, which right? we had that chance old. to drive it in Miami. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's a it's a it's a fantastic time for the brand, and I think people are slowly beginning to understand what the brand stands for. You know, we talk about um, approaching segments in the market that may or may not be um, obvious choices. So, yeah. doing a convertible is not an obvious choice. Doing the Tour X, not an obvious choice, right? But we've done it. We've done it very well. Um, and then the second is this concept of what we call attainable luxury. Yeah. You have mainstream brands where a lot of people understand, you know, the layout of how that competition works, but sometimes they want more. And if they look at the full premium vehicles, they're going to find very expensive vehicles to buy. I know. Sometimes not even with all the content you would expect yeah. compared to a mainstream brand, just because they are very expensive and they forget to look mid market. And when you look at mid-market, what we, the, 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 I guess the, the, the slice of the pie we've cut out for Buick is this idea of attainable luxury. You get the technology, you get the fit and finish, you get the quality of the, the materials, you get the fantastic designs, and then you get the Buick spin on it, which yeah. is we provide vehicles with just a little bit of a twist. Yeah. So you look at the car we're driving. Yeah. From I mean, where we're sitting, you'd think, wow, well, they're in a sedan, right? The new Regal sedan. Yeah. It's not a sedan at all, right? It's a Sportback. Yeah, yeah. Because when you open that trunk back there, it's like a huge space. You get very, twice yeah. the trunk capacity of a normal sedan in this segment. So it's a fantastic, uh, package, versatile yeah. package that delivers a very premium quality experience to the consumer. So, uh, and that's where your job comes in, like the successful campaigns, marketing campaigns on Absolutely. TV and everything else, like that, that's a Buick campaign, that's been very successful. Too. Well, you know, you, we, it's, it's, it's a brand that's been around for a while and um, a lot of people associate Buicks to our historical brands from a long time ago where the U.S. auto industry had, you know, larger, heavier, not exactly well-performing cars and now you have state-of-the-art. And a lot of people will still associate Buick to their grandfather's yeah, Buick, right? And, and that's not the case at all. I know. And so my challenge is how do I break through the clutter of the industry to explain not only that there is a new Buick out there with exciting products, but also explain this concept of attainable luxury. You don't have to go all the way to a German luxury brand to find the refinement, the yeah. quiet ride. I mean, listen to this car. Well, right? I was going to mention training. like, it's quiet tuning, but we went through a through a bumpy a, a part rough. because we're in a proving ground. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is where you test the car. So 
But in, in that's a very rough piece of road. Exactly. If you go and through that same stretch with a mainstream brand, exactly, will be like I all guarantee over, yeah. you, you'll hear rattles and you'll hear. And, and that's the point. I mean, like all the Buicks, the new Buicks are like so quiet. I mean, yeah. that's one of the key uh, uh, characteristics, right, of the, yeah. of the new car. Again, like here is bumpy, but it's not because of the car. It's just the road was designed to be like that to test them, right? Yeah, exactly. It's what we call real-world roads, right?